really has been a journey. I mean, I just can't help but think about just first coming to Grand Island Public Schools. As a matter of fact, when I was cleaning out my office this week, I actually ran across some of the uh, first listening tour documents and seeing what people said, you know, back in 2016 and to see the progress uh, that we've made being surrounded by so many knowledgeable people, dedicated, passionate people who refuse to give up, who refuses to give up on making sure that we stay the course, refusing to give up on programs or initiatives, even if we have to change them, refusing to give up on kids. Of course, I'm very proud of the academies of Grand Island Senior High School. Um, I mean, I walked into that where we were, that was one of my first projects mm -hmm. here as a superintendent. And for people to have faith uh, in that uh, initiative and to see it through and to see people still growing and adapting and understanding how we continue to engage with our community and it just made me so proud to be from Grand Island everywhere I would go and people ask you know how do we make it successful I would always say that you know our community partners they're like they're our secret sauce I don't think there's anyone out there uh, that can match the contributions that our community provides uh, for our students when it comes to the academies and so you know that's been wonderful to see as well what I think probably the proudest uh, for me is having been here during seven school years there are so many students that they were younger and now they're older and so I can literally go in almost any building and the students was, can say, hey, Dr. Grover. And I'm thinking, yeah, because we've been together, you know, for quite some time. I think from the beginning, if you ask people what do they love and appreciate about Grand Island Public Schools in a survey or whatever, uh, they're going to say, we're progressive. We are a very progressive district. And I just want to say, that's true. <laughs> like, that is true. Uh, people are very innovative and you have to be innovative when you have a diverse group of students like we have here in Grand Island Public Schools they're always going to have to be innovative ways to meet all of their needs and so I just want to say you can wear the t-shirt like that is so true and people understand who we are in Grand Island Public Schools and what makes us special. You're more valuable than you would ever know. Seems like to me as a leader, and this is something I will always continue to work hard towards, is helping people understand how valuable they are. I wish they could hear some of the conversations that go into trying to figure out such a complex system and trying to make sure everyone feels like they are appreciated. And that's kind of, it's, it's hard to do and it's hard to capture because there are always going to be so many different needs. But I just want the staff to know that they are valued and they are appreciated. And that's from the Board of Education, from the leadership, from the principals. I've never been in a conversation where people have not spoken of what can we do for our staff in a better way. And especially now, being an educator, that I, I want staff members to know that you are making a difference and I know that this profession is hard no matter uh, what seat you're in but like I said before don't give up and don't quit you matter well whether they are over at the early childhood center or all the way at Grand Island Senior High School I want all of our students to live up to the wear purple and be gold. I mean, there's a lot to be proud of to be a student here in Grand Island Public Schools. Um, and we should always be striving for excellence. And for every student, I just want them to know that no one moment defines you, whether it's good or bad. I want you to always be reaching for that next level for your best and if you are um, achieving, keep on achieving and help someone else achieve. Um, and if you ever feel like um, it was a hard day, just know that tomorrow is a new day and just keep reaching to be your very best. I feel very privileged uh, to have had the opportunity to, to serve. I don't know how long that mission statement has been here. Every student, every day is success, but I know I just grabbed a hold to it when I came and I just, uh, hope and pray that every uh, staff member, community member, 
uh, Board of Education member, everyone that's involved with Grand Island Public Schools, I just hope that that's your mission forever and ever because it's a good one. And it is an excellent charge uh, to come to work to try to live up to each and every day.